Yes, no child is a blank slate. But it doesn't mean that it, the child has to be clutched with the past impressions also. That's also very important. And Sri Aurobindo says that it is the dawn of the consciousness. If, if we work within ourselves, what happens is the new consciousness or the expansion of consciousness can clean away all the, you know, the impressions, the, 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 the horrible impressions in some ways that we've carried. Mm -hmm. So we, we are in some ways free in that sense. We are free in that sense. But the work must be done. You can see it in, in sort of the idea of generational trauma, a, a way of thinking about right. that. And then saying, you, you know, the, the, the way the brain works is it, it, it holds that to some degree, mm -hmm. but we can also heal from that. Right. Um, exactly. so, so the flexibility of the brain, it never ends. And so there's always the possibility, the potentiality mm -hmm. to, to move beyond whatever that trauma was, right. whether it was this lifetime or oppressed. I think it's important that we understand that it's not about suppression of, of the trauma. That's right. It's about, it's like when there's darkness, if you bring a light, a candle, mm -hmm. darkness is still away. Right, right. And, 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 then, and I think one way of saying it is that rather than suppressing a trauma, what you're doing is developing a new relationship to it. Right. It's like you, you don't, deny the past, what you do is you acknowledge the past, mm -hmm. and and the personal work is, what is my relation to that? Right. The personal work is, oh, am I, you know, angry about that? Am I holding anger? Am I expressing anger? Right. Or any of them, it could be any of the emotions, but then what, do, what relationship do I need to have with that in order to be nurturing and nurtured, to, to be more fully connected to, because the, the problem with trauma is just that it takes you out of the present, that it, takes right. you, it, it, it destroys your relationship to the present. Mm -hmm. And so the new relationship to the past needs to be, how can I acknowledge it and then be present to whatever is true now, not have my consciousness defined by the trauma. Right, right. My consciousness needs to be defined by what is present yeah. here and now. Yeah. And a greater consciousness would be about uh, not just here and now in our physical being, but here and now thinking more broadly, like you, you could put it in ecological terms and say, well, what does, what, does, what does my relationship to the earth mean? What does my relationship to society mean? What right. does my relationship to myself mean? To even turn it, flip it around and go internal. What do I need to be to care for my, myself? Mm -hmm. um, but it can go either way. Right. And then the, the, the consciousness is not just the the chatter in the mind right <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's both something deeper inside but also much more expanded outside All right this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills i'm your host don berg